I mean, if you're not like really looking at this, you don't know. I mean, you wouldn't know that I hit the ground at 75 miles an hour in the rain and slid for shit, however long I slid. This whole front fairing's jacked. All this is jacked. How it's worked. Oh, it's tough to see this. So the insurance adjuster wants to see all my gear. I landed here and then, you know, there on the back. And then so like this is why this is all ripped up. Zippers busted, which is a big deal. Ripped a hole here. But so like this suit, it's a it's a it's a waterproof suit. And also it's got that heavy denier, whatever it's called. It's like Kevlar, but it's not Kevlar. I mean this stuff did a really good job. I hate that uh, I had to test it out, but not going to deter me from riding <clears throat> so yeah repair or replace that is the question everybody's telling me my bike's going to be totaled the amount of work that it's going to take to get it fixed it just exceeds the value of the bike so what that means for me is, is that i'm probably going to need to get a new bike now i'm not really thrilled about that but I'm getting there. <laughs> I need to do a little research on what I might need for a new bike. Um, so like this right here is a, is a performance chart, they call them dyno sheets, of what a stock bike performs at. And these numbers up here, those are what my bike performs at. Now, um, this was the bike that was available to me and I bought it. I love the bike, but it's not really built very efficiently. Now this company in Tennessee called Moonshine Harley, these guys, they build awesome bikes and they build them super efficient. They can get a stock bike with just like a stage two kit, which is like a cam basically, to perform like my bike does. It's gonna save me a little bit of money. Just make sure it has a comfy seat for me and it's not that moss rock brown. Difference between a street glide with the bat wing fairing and a road glide. The shark nose fairing. Shark nose is a fixed fairing, which means it does not move unless you wreck the bat wing. It's attached to the handlebars or the front fork. <laughs> they say the they say the rarest bike is a stock bike. Also, what's really cool is, is right over there they've got a <coughs> learn to ride track. I think if you buy a bike, they throw the course in for free. It doesn't matter what kind of bike you ride. It doesn't matter if you even own a Harley. I'm gonna take you over there. So you heard that right, they're gonna fix it. So I'm gonna peek my head in over here and talk with the service manager and see what kind of timelines we're talking about, like really talking about. Because 
All I'm worried about is burning gas. Michael Ray. What up, man? Hey, how are you? Good, you? Doing all right. I'm, I'm doing all right. Just, I got your email. I'm sorry, I haven't like. Okay. Yet. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Um, I, I was like, shit, maybe I'm way out of line here. No, no, no. <laughs> I, uh, I saw it. So, when do you think? Um, how, how long do you think that? I mean, not pulling your feet to the fire. I'm just trying to get an idea. So, I mean, a frame's gonna be a few weeks. Uh, I say a few weeks, up to 14 days. You know, uh, from like everything's gonna get processed and get ordered today. Um, you know, as far as like the frame and like all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, realistically, I I'm hoping to have the frame first week of February. Um, okay. And then from there, I can go ahead and leave, you know, I can get the rear frame, uh, go ahead and start swapping those parts over. And then, uh, you know, like from there, kind of start having a conversation of, hey, you know, these parts are here, I'll, I'll go ahead and put on this. I appreciate you.